We thought it looked nice in the brochure. Who did? Me and my partner. Partner? Girlfriend. Girlfriend? Now wife. <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> Blake, today we're going to do a Would I Lie To You clip, and we have lined up our old mate, Rod Gilbert. Rod Gilbert? I haven't seen that dude in ages. We've learnt a bit about Rod in the last few stories that we've done of his, and this one I'm keen to check out because it has something to do with a French holiday. Awesome. Let's let's kick up our feet, let's get comfy and find out what happens to Rod Gilbert on a French holiday. The last time we heard, he spent a month in Spain on a bench. So a, yeah. a French holiday, it sounds like a walk in the park. A park that he may end up staying in. And not a bush. <laughs> no, that's too cold. I once had a holiday in a Frenchman's garage. <laughs> cool. Can I check if this is a euphemism? <laughs> Seriously, how old were you, roughly? I don't mean go. Oh, 17. 38? 30. Oh, it's oh, quite recently. What happened? Yeah. So you're 38, right? Yeah. You're in France. Where, where is the garage? France. Whereabouts in France? <laughs> Northern France. Whereabouts in Northern France? <laughs> Brittany. In Britain. So you ended up in Brittany. Southern Brittany. Southern Brittany. Okay. And you the ended... northern end of southern Britain. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's oh, that's just uh, <laughs> just south of Mid Brittany. Mid Brittany. Yeah. What's the name of the town that you were in? The, the in town, town where I stayed in the Frenchman's garage was van. You're in the van in the garage. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Is this how this mix-up happened? I want a holiday uh, town... in a van. <laughs> Rod, Rod, let me speak to you as another Welshman. Maybe he'll understand me. <laughs> Ask me a nice specific question. Did you book a holiday in a Frenchman's garage? No, I once had a holiday. <laughs> when you arrived in the in the village or town called Van, yeah, Van, yeah. Did you already know you will be staying in a garage? No. Were all the hotels booked? No. We thought it looked nice in the brochure. Who did? Me and my partner. Partner? Girlfriend. Girlfriend? Now wife. <laughs> Blimey, that was a <laughs> <laughs> OK. She so were going to van. We you... went to we went to van. Right. Went to a tourist information place to... Because you hadn't booked anywhere. We hadn't booked anywhere. I'm with you. Right. right. What happens at the tourist information place? They said, what about this place? And we said, that looks nice. Love the house with a nice Good. pool Love looked it. nice in the picture, yeah. so, we, so we went there. So you right. got there, when, but, and when you got there, it was a garage. <laughs> <laughs> I do the house was nice, but we were in the garage. <laughs> was the garage decked out to look like a room, or was it just spanners and? It looked like a room with a canoe on the side and a fuse box. <laughs> <laughs> Am I old before my time? But yes. At, at 38, you don't go on a crazy, we're not going to book where we're going. At 38, you want to know where you're going. We've yeah. got this nice, I'm with comfy you, room. Yeah. You know, if it is true, you totally deserve what happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I didn't Who enjoy it. <laughs> so you liked the sort of thing, it was a deliberate rough No, it was a disaster. Was <laughs> <laughs> you for in the garage? Two weeks. You stayed for two That's weeks? That's a long <laughs> How much did you pay? It was very reasonable. <laughs> Windows in the garage. No. And you said there was a swimming pool. Yeah, they had a swimming pool. You were allowed to use it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help thinking that what you're describing is more of a hostage scenario. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Mrs. Gilbert? She wasn't Mrs. Gilbert then, but what? How did she react? Because she's looking at you, Rod, the tall, strapping, handsome Welshman, what everyone dreams of. <laughs> <laughs> and you whisked her there. Was yeah. there not a little part of her that, that, that died that day when she saw <laughs> what you expected her to She wasn't very with? well, if I remember rightly. Was it carbon monoxide or exhaust fumes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lee, um, it's, it's a complex tale. Uh, what are you going to go with? Oh, God, I, I, I really don't have any intuition guiding me on this one. I can't imagine that my girlfriend would put up with that. Like, for two weeks. Two weeks is a long time. What are you doing? No, I'm going to say no. It's not true. Okay. I'm going to go a bit differently for a few reasons. I think, like, the place he was staying with would have been, like, a nicely, probably renovated guest house that, like, rent you rent out on Airbnb or whatever. It may have had a couple yeah. of bits and pe pieces that, like, uh, represented the old... Well, like, that, that looked like the old garage, maybe a big garage store on the side or something. But it's probably well insulated enough. Um... I do think Rod's the kind of person that would just go somewhere and try and figure it out once he gets there. So I think he could <laughs> yeah. have just booked a random spot. Um, so, yeah, I think just from Rod being Rod, I believe he would do those kind of things. 
from the way yes. he told the story at the start he was deliberately combative and he also <laughs> was like misleading in a lot of ways which i think he tends to do where he's trying to get people away from the fact that it is a true story and make it sound more wacky um i think his girlfriend is dating Rod Gilbert, so she knows what kind of a person he is, and this sounds like a very Rod Gilbert thing to do, so I think she'd be all for it. So, yeah, for all those reasons, I'm going to say it's a true story. Yep, cool. No, all very valid. Like I said, i got nothing guarding me with this one, so... <laughs> well, let's, let's find out. <laughs> let's see who's, who's got this one correct. Uh, what do your team think? Absolute lie. Who's a lie? Absolutely. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Based on just the floundering? Absolutely everything. <laughs> All right, it did have windows. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Hal? It's like he's throwing in things that seem so ridiculous. And no, but nobody would go and stay in a garage without windows. But I think they wouldn't. Sort of You're Kelly like, Hopkins, though, people. Kelly. <laughs> yeah. He's Rod Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's it going to be, Lee? Truth or lie? Lie. Lie? Lie. Lie. I think it's true, but I'll go with my team and say it's a lie. You're going to say lie. OK, Rod. <laughs> garage holiday in France. True Garage or holiday lie? in the Frenchman's garage oh. in Van. True. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. It was all true. Rod so did shot. once have a holiday in a Frenchman's yeah. garage. Oh, I wanted to see it. Yeah. I think we got spoiled with that one. Uh, a bot? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, we saw Bob's photo evidence for one of them and kind of expecting, oh, this happens all the time, and that's just never happened again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think that I think the people on that panel very much like projected themselves into that story and went, well, I'll never do it. So yeah. this guy will never do it. I feel like they might not know him or his comedy that well because, well, I don't know. You, you're starting to know it a fair bit and you got it wrong. So it is what it is. Yeah, I loved every bit of that. Obviously, Michael and I both did, but... Guys at home, what did you think of that one? Please let us know in the comments and be sure to hit that like button if you liked it. And if you like this clip, guys, and you want to see more Would I Lie To You clips, hit on that playlist just up there, and we'll see you all tomorrow for the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.